Yeah, it is time for part four of Street Fighter Alpha. What's up, everybody? Rapid Fire Gaming here with another episode here. This time with my favorite character to play as, Ken. <laughs> Ken Masters. Now, this guy is designed to be aggressive with. But as you can see, I'm doing a very piss poor job at showing it. But yeah, right off the bat, and begin to show you Ripa for your trouble. Birdie, he just immediately just anti-aired me, but I literally didn't have any issue with it. In the last part, I died. I didn't die a lot, but I was explaining about Street Fighter 2 and why, how long, and why I chose to do this game, this series over. Street Fighter 2, which I will eventually get to Street Fighter 2, I promise. But I decided to do the Alpha series first, because, like I said, because I haven't, it all boiled down to which one I haven't played longer. And that is, unfortunately, because of the simple fact that it's way harder as well. It's not like this one where, I mean, I'm not saying like Street Fighter is an easy game. But because of the design of the AI and how they're programmed, it's compared to that game, this game is way easier. And you're going to have a lot more fun with this game compared. Man, but yeah, we don't have as many characters to do in this one compared to Eleven. Because, of course, obviously, it's an entirely different game, but... But, yeah. Oh, wow. Like I said, Ken's my dominant character. I play with him the most. Really good with him. Here we go, Sodom. But I'm not saying I won't die with this character at all, because the one time I did, I ended up fucking dying with this motherfucker. Because he likes to prove me wrong. He likes to always be that way. Because Ken players are designed to be aggressive, yes. But it can also be its downfall. It can also be your downfall as well. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming. Right now, ladies and gents, I'm just letting you know. This is not going to be a long series. Playing with this with Alpha. I fucking love this game to death. Like I said... I beat the game in one sitting in six hours. It's no problem for me. I fucking love this game to death. You know, I, I do. I, I do. I do. Like, I love this series, the Alpha series in general, a lot better than... I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the Street Fighter 3 series, which... That one I am kind of looking forward to playing as, but... I will eventually do all of the Street Fighter games, and I probably should have mentioned this in the first playthrough, in the first part, but yeah, I am playing this from the Street Fighter uh, 25th Anniversary Collection. I'm not too sure if I, if I released my intro to it, but I'm not going to do it all, like, I'm not going to do every single one of the series back to back to back. But I do want to say I will eventually do the entire history of Street Fighter. Not gonna like jump right into it after like Alpha, you know, or something. I'm not too sure what game I'm gonna do. I kind of just do it on the, on a whim. But like I told you, man, Ken's my dominant character. That's that's my dude for real. I hate playing as him. I mean, I hate playing against him, but love playing as him. And Gee, not gonna have a chance. I ran out of stuff to say. <laughs> It just came down to me doing mine a little bit later. 
I countered his super. Super right into the face. Let's go. Man. Oh my god, Adon. I forgot how annoying Adon is. Oh my freaking god, bro. Can you stop doing that, dude? Oh, and his spin kicks also can go in the air. I'm not too sure exactly how to do it. Sometimes it can, seems kind of random. Adon might actually beat me here. Oh my goodness, dude. I deserve that death, dude. I fucking deserve that death. Alright, Adon. Let's go, motherfucker. Jagger kick! Alright, dude, if you say so, man. Alright, bitch. Oh, whatever, bro. Whatever, man. Whatever, Adon. You would be the one to fucking do that. Yeah, Adon's a real piece of shit. <clears throat> Just thought I would tell you guys that, in case you didn't know. I don't know why I lost to him in the first place. I should not have lost that anyway. I don't know why I didn't just do that anyway. Being that aggressive in the first place. That's how he was designed to be. I don't understand why I didn't just do that in the first fucking place. And he's dead. I'm just, that aggression was just too much for him. Now for Sagat. Then it's on to Ryu. Oh my goodness. Ah, I fucking missed that. Why? There we go. And that's the got done. The aggression, boy. Oh yeah, now for Ryu. You're a hard man to fight, Ryu. Everyone's talking about you now. Long time no see. Still training? Still good enough to beat you. We'll see about that. There we go. Come on, bro. Can we not?
Ah. Ah. Really, you just girl kicked me? And that's how you beat me? Really? But like I said, Ken, all about the aggression. The more aggressive, the better. There are some fucking killer Ken players, man. And about to lose. I got lucky there. I hit him in the dick. That's funny. <laughs> you fight with the fury of a tiger. As do you, my friend. I must return to Japan. What are your plans, Ken? I must return home to America. Someone has issued a challenge to me. See you then. Take care. Those two are always friends. Back in America, Ken finds a challenger at the karate tournament. After destroying the opposition, he meets a very pretty girl. You fight well, but why do you fight? For money, fame, or for the attention? There's a man that I must defeat. Until that day, I will not stop. He must pay. I wouldn't want to be him, by the way. By the way, my name is Eliza. Yeah, that's how he met his girlfriend, by the way. Who later on, in the games, is pregnant and has a kid. So then, eventually, his kid is going to be a fighter just like him. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the that's how he met Eliza. Um, so we are done here, ladies and gents, with this episode. I will see you guys next time.